What's up Manga fans, this is Raphael from C Manga and welcome back to another review of Bleach, this week's chapter 611, Soul King. So this chapter was full of surprises, um, but if you're kind of used to Kubo's form of writing, most of these surprises aren't really that surprising. A lot of the stuff he does is a lot of red herrings in the story and I'm not going to lie to you, I was surprised by this, but it just let me, it made me sit back and start laughing, thinking Kubo is the ultimate troll, he cannot contain himself sometimes, and it's like, death really doesn't have much of a consequence in this series, and we see that in this chapter. So, from the get-go, when I saw Ichibei's body in pieces, I was really upset, especially when his head like, just fell down and rolled, and Yachi's just walking by, smugly stating that he was correct, that Ichibei would die in three steps. So at this part, I'm thinking, yeah, he's definitely dead. Um, and we also um, see, as I was expecting, the Royal Guard have been defeated off screen. And this basically leads, leaves no one to defend the Royal Soul King. So Yach has basically said, yep, I'm on my way to take the Soul King, you're next. So um, soon after all this has happened and Yach has left, um, we actually have some tiny bleach humor that's typical in bleach put in you know at the most inappropriate um, times when the situation is serious we have um, a little comedy moment and when the fake um, Tenchiru crashes down into the walk great Ganju tumbles out um, as the only one unprotected by um, Orihime and Santa and Keshu and she's apologized and says sorry I couldn't fit you in with everyone else so I was, I was actually kind of laughing at that because Ganji always is, you know, the kind of the butt of the jerks in that kind of scenario. But um, after this, it all soon changes. The situation gets serious when they see the hor horrific scene of Ichibei's corpse in pieces before then. And at this point, as I said, I'm thinking, yeah, maybe he is actually dead. But then Ichigo um, starts to hear Ichibei calling to him in his mind and he's saying, like, Ichigo as being respectful saying he's saying high priest instead of his name so um, Ichibe says call my name and when Ichigo does this Ichibe reappears completely unharmed fully intact and I was thinking what like wasn't you dead even Ichigo um, was saying that wasn't you just dead and he reveals he took some of Ichigo's power to heal himself so I think Ichigo's reaction um, was definitely bang on and probably represented most of the readers' um, reactions to seeing Ichibe completely fine after being blown to bits last time. And I just have to say, um, touche Kubo, troll on again, death has no consequence in this series. So um, it was funny how Ichibe's personality is so bipolar. He straight away he's gone back to his jolly self and joking about how all names have powers and that he siphoned a bit of Ichigo's power um, to allow to heal himself and pull himself back, back together. Um, but like I said before with the, pre, um, the humor earlier, this doesn't last long either. Um, and we see Ichigo actually get very serious and ask um, Ichigo to stop Yach as you know he's defeated the entire Zero Division. And Ichigo says, if we wait for my powers to return, it will be too late. And he's literally pleading at this point um, with Ichigo and even apologizing for putting this kind of burden on him. But he has to stop Yach. He's not asking him to kill him, but just stop him as the Soul King is what keeps everything in existence um, basically up, you know, like he, keeping it actually um, existing and solid present. So killing him will make that all collapse and disappear. So the Soul King is literally not just a f um, person or you know high being. He's literally what binds everything together. So now you're thinking back. Now you understand why Urahara prevented Aizen from getting there because the Soul King is literally what brings balance and binds everything together. So um, after you know yeah, um, Ichibe has basically pleaded and begged Ich um, Ichigo to go and stop yet. Um, his group's charged off and just as this moment Yach himself has found the Soul King and thrust his braid straight through his chest and I'm just like oh crap he did not waste any time and he even bids um, the Soul King farewell addressing him as his father and then I was just like what? like okay this is starting to make sense why Yach has so much you know ridiculous powers so 
this leads me to think is he really his father or is this one of these metaphorical things but I'm definitely thinking you know Yatch is um, the Soul King's son because of all the unridiculous um, abilities and powers he possesses it makes me wonder who's the mother it must have been a human or Quincy or something and um, or um, I'm wondering what can Ichigo's do, grew at, do at this point I mean I'm really happy to see Ichigo back at, again but seeing them doesn't really bring any sort of comfort or hope for me after seeing what Yatch and his elite guards have done and at this point I'm thinking of the conversation between Uraha and Hiyori when you know she said you're sacrificing them why are you doing this you've let them go off to die so I'm feeling I have a bad feeling about what's going to happen when they meet I don't think anyone's going to be killed but I feel like they're going to get their asses handed to you badly and most likely going to have to retreat so yeah as i said um it was a good chapter despite you know the trolling from kuba but it doesn't really bother me um because obviously i like Ichibe and he's alive but i feel for story sake Ichibe should have died to make it more dramatic because it, it just feels like there wasn't really much of a consequence um um you know with him still being alive but at the same time he might as well be equivalent to dead because he failed to stop Yatch. Every all the other Zero Division failed to do it, and Yatch has reached the Soul King and pierced his blade for his things. So, either way, it seems like the situation is there has been no consequence. The Soul King has been attacked, and he most likely is going to die. So now we have to see what's going to happen next time. Is all balance going to go crazy? Um, what, as I said, what is going to happen with Ichigo's group? I just can't see them doing much, and. Um, it just shows you Yatch is really one up to Aizen. He's gone so far and he's done what Aizen couldn't do. So he really is the epitome of evil right now. And I'm looking forward to see what his next move is and what's going to happen next. So definitely an um, enjoyable chapter for me. Can't wait to see what happens next. And um, yeah, it's just so many theories to think about next time. So you guys know the usual. If you enjoyed this chapter, leave it in the comment box below. And... Um, I'll speak to you guys next time. Take care.